Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we checked out this camp here that's full of dead bodies and monster things. I don't actually know what those are called. Shamblers? Zombies? I guess I'll find out once we get back to the train and I can check out that journal. Because I think there's a like a bestiary entry on each type of enemy. Next place I want to go is to this question mark. Just northeast of us. It might be that little shack up there. Is this it? Is it this close? Mm, not quite. I don't want up there, though. There's no ladder. <laughs> uh. Well, if it's hard to get up there, then I want to get up there even more. I might be able to just, like, grapple my way up. <laughs> Ooh, I think this is it. From over here. Yeah. Man, is that satisfying. I love the look and the sound of those blowing in the wind. such a dynamic world that they've made. And listen to the audio treatment, too. As soon as you walk outside. Gunshots. Pretty far away, though. Oh, sweet. Place to rest. Как 
говорит отец Силантий, грех. So that was describing the origins of the cult. Silantius's rise to power. We badly need to clean and repair a bunch of stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, my mask is totally wrecked. Oh, and repairing it isn't actually cleaning it. Using chemicals like when you clean weapons, but it takes uh, the other type of crafting thing. That's all good. Yeah, we gotta clean this thing. It's horrible. So satisfying to watch the grime just disappear. Oh, right. I need to make medkits, too. I'm really running out of chemicals. Guess I'll make another one. It's not like I find very many, that's for sure. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, there's this huge factory up here. I can't wait to check that out. For some reason, it's not a question mark. I don't really know why. I'm sure it's something significant, though, but... I want to check out the other question mark first. Back here. Yep. Ooh. Good. Opposite direction. That's a good way to go. I want to get them both back. Where'd the other one go? There's a lot of them. They really do hang out in big groups. seems extra big. Oh my god. Just took three knives. Yeah, it looks different from the rest. So is this some sort of like alpha? Shit, tons of radiation here. Gotta check for bodies, though. Bodies! Not much here, huh? It's just they're like feeding grounds. Alright, let's get the hell out of here.
Did I get all my knives back? No. Lost one. It's probably back there in the water. I think I missed one against the, the bigger creature. But I'm not going back for it. Let's go back and rest for a second to get my health back. Oh, I also forgot to grab this picture. New postcard. It's the first one, I think. Yeah. Cool. I think I should make more shotgun rounds. Kind of went through most of them. Look at how much we wrecked our shotgun just from that. And how did this thing get so wrecked? Wait a minute. Maybe guns don't only get dirty from use. Maybe it gets dirty if you, like, go through mucky water, or if you go to an area that requires a mask. And you have it in your hands? Because obviously this doesn't have any damage to it, but I never put it in my hands. Hmm. I probably can't make any ammunition now, can I? No, I can't. Now it's time to check out this huge factory thing. Rabbits, you're freaking me out. They make very loud footsteps. They sound like monsters coming up behind me. Demons seem to have a nest here. That's the symbol of the cult, isn't it? It's gotta be. We've seen the triangle thing, also this outer symbol looks like a... a pictograph of a fish. I don't think I want to go down there. That looks like pure radiation. I guess they just hung people over the radiation and, and gas until they died. It's a grim end. Oh, yay, I can go down. Whoa! God. Oh god. Is there something to grab onto or am I just dead? Oh, I'm just dead. <laughs> oh, I did not. I, I thought that was solid ground. I think I might just not be able to get into this place. It seems pretty locked up. Maybe that's why it doesn't have an icon on the map. I can't seem to spot it. Although maybe you have to be kind of far away from it to spot it. I don't know if you can just like get up to a, a thing that would normally be marked and use your binoculars on the door and... It gets marked. Yeah, I don't see any way in. Except through the water? Oh, wait. Wait, I could probably take a boat in there, couldn't I? That's all water. Water, water, water. I, um. Yeah, it goes this way. 
Can I get a boat in here? Looks like it. Oh boy. Alright, and oh, and there's a boat. Okay, um... You know what I'm gonna try to do? I'm so close to land, you can do it! Yes! This is not marked. Let's get the hell in here before I get acid in my face. Oh, very cozy. anything. I would like to take out some of these fuckers before they get on my boat. I don't think I can, though. You gotta get them. Yeah, anything else, you probably just hit the shell. But if they go to spit at you, then they're letting themselves open to attack. So that's the best way to engage them, I think, is just, if they're near you, just get out of your boat. I mean, you know, get, stand up, stop piloting it, wait for them to pop out, and pop them in the face. I wonder what that writing up there means. God, this is such a spooky place. Colts obviously marked it a lot, so there's something special about this place. Is this where they feed the great fish? Is that why all these bodies are hanging? For the fish to eat? I'm sure I'd have no trouble jumping up and eating them. Probably wouldn't even have to jump, it's so big. Man, the reflections in the water are so gorgeous. Uh-oh. Oh man, they're all over the place. They can't get me, though. Not here. Oh. Is there actually a place for me to go? I feel like this might be a main quest area. 
Like that up there looks like maybe one of the carriages we need or or something. Finally got marked. Yeah, I thought this was the main quest area I needed to go to. But it marked another area at some point. Like, at the center of the map. I think that was to get the report from Duke or something like that about what they'd spotted in the area. But I guess I just surpassed it by coming here. Okay. Well, for here, we might as well do it. Whoa. Concussion. Oh yeah, yep. This is definitely where it feeds. And definitely where it is fed. Hmm. Um, that's my first concussion grenade. these nasty looking chemicals. I'm surprised I haven't needed my mask yet. I'm sure I will though. Oh, they do throw things. to do melee on it. door like looks like it comes straight out of a medieval castle I don't know what this is going to do so let's do it Oh Glad it does that. I, why does it do that? Why does it spin this train track around? That is part of a train track. Huh. Allow and disallow access for train to get in here? Uh, I don't know. It's one of the purple ones. So you do find these in the wild, just rarely. Is that the the bastard, or is that a just a? That's not a revolver. It's got to be the bastard, right? Yeah, with a drum magazine. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. Maybe I should use this thing. I mean, I haven't had a weapon to shoot the pistol bullets in a while, so I've got a lot saved up. Hmm. 
Sure. Sure. Let's try it. I don't think the world outside loaded correctly. I do see the demon shadows though, so those are <laughs> those are still loaded. Oh. Shit. Fuck me. Nobody can contact me. Great. way just leads to the water does oh 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 hi yeah, I don't think there's any point in going down there oh, fuck you I just threw a Molotov, but I died too soon. I think my gun jammed, because there's no way I ran out of either my magazine or my total ammo. All right, let's try a concussion grenade this time. I, I think I want to keep my grenades active at all times, because they do come in huge groups. Hey, buddy. Where's the rest of you? Wait, have you not spotted me? Oh, damn. They haven't spotted me. How did they not hear those shots before? Okay, maybe I can just knife them then. Or try to do a takedown. You cannot do takedowns on monsters. No, that's not what I want to use. Damn, it explodes on contact. At least it didn't blow up my knives. I 
another big one. God, it keeps jamming. Oh my god. I get like two shots off in the jams. Whew, there we go. It must be like all the way broken if it's to this point. Yeah, this thing's kind of useless really. At this point, two shots and then I have to unjam it? That's garbage. I think I should do a little bit of crafting, actually. Let's make some more steel balls. Yeah, I got plenty of crafting material for that. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it was definitely alive, and it was definitely gonna hurt me. Oh, there's more up there. Looks like they release, like, poisonous gas if you get near them. Pretty good use of knives. You just need to shoot them. Oh, yes, yeah, so you just need to shoot them once just to trigger them. You don't really kill them, you just trigger them and then they release the gas and die, basically. See you. Switch to Molotovs. Just gotta remember I have Molotovs, so if I try to throw a knife, I don't accidentally just start a fire. Hmm. Let's make more steel balls. One headshot does it, but it's hard to get headshots. Oh! 
Thanks for that. I was about to throw a Molotov. You saved me one, but also now you might do the same thing to me. So, you know, pluses and minuses. Run across or go up the ladder? Run across! filters. Oh, fuck. Much. It just caught one on fire and scared the rest away. are so good. I need to make more ammo. And heal. Do I... I do have the stuff to make more of these. I guess I better do that. God, they're expensive. I'll make one. I think I need to go down there and go across. So, before doing that, let's check out over here. Uh, let's go up here, actually. Pretty damn accurate. What if you can eventually get a like a 4x scope on it and zoom it in and use it to snipe? Oh, this takes me to the same place, but kind of gets me out of the gassy area down below. Good. Ooh, that's a lot of explosives. I'll take the hint. Got concussion selected. Oh, what the fuck? I just, like, bounced on down there, huh? Well, I think I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened? I just went down the stairs and she's like, ping pong bong dead. Alright, let's try again. Concussives? Let's not go down those death stairs. Yeah, that whole area down there is bad news. But looks like I have to go that way, actually. That's a big group of them. 
Yeah, I gotta go down there. Alright, shit. Unless... Is there something sneaky I can do? Can I, like, crawl through here? No, can I turn this thing over? Maybe from the other side? Okay, let's go down. Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. I should make another minute of filters. Man, the crafting system is so nice. So fast, intuitive, satisfying. How do I actually get down there? Oh, I just go straight. Okay. That's just water. Is this the main door to the place? Shit, I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You actually just push it open by walking into it. It's got physics. Ledger. Servant of our Lord Alvatina, age 79, old age. Servant of our Lord Peter, age 60, mushroom poisoning. Uh, Mikhail, age 42, lack of faith. Succumbed to a demon of electricity. <laughs> Lord Zakar, 31, lack of faith. Uh, Fatali, 48, lack of faith. Lack of faith. Consumption, consumption, lack of faith. This one's different, though. Devoured by sorrowfish when drawing water. Natalia died age eight from hunger. How could you let a child die from hunger? Given that they seem to be the only one who died from hunger. Gargoyle attack, heathen atrocity, heathen atrocity, da, 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 pneumonia, lack of faith. Gargoyle attack. Fell from the bridge. Perpetual fever, perpetual fever. Stillborn, excessive fasting. Unknown black fever. Vasilisa, 23, black fever. Caught the fever while tending to the sick. From Traveler from the South. God rest her merciful soul. I can leave those on. Don't feel bad about looting their offerings. But I will leave the, leave the candles on at least. Metro 2034. <laughs> oh. Oh. What did I just do? Oh, just dropped one of the bodies. I, I thought I was going to pick up those clippers there. I, I didn't think I was going to cut one down. Whoa! Hmm. 
So this is like the whole feeding system, huh? Strap them up there, release them. Oh. I think it's feeding. Does this attract the fish? I'm betting there's some way to kill it. Right, I want to kill it. It's extremely dangerous. What does this do? Whoa! Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure if that really accomplished anything. I guess it opened up that pathway, so now I could probably go get the cart. I feel like there was something else I could do here, though, right? Dropping the individual bodies? Was there some way to kill it? Like, what if I got it to come over here and then dropped all that stuff on it? Would that have done something? Let's let's mess around and see if I can make something else happen. So I just loaded a save and got back to where I was before I did anything with the bodies. What's in here? Oh, this must be the child's. The one that died from starvation? Yeah, it's their burial ground of sorts, their cemetery. Yes, I just looted a grave, I guess. No, I don't feel good about it. Just a pile of electronics. All the heathen equipment. Yeah, anything that uses electricity. Fridges, washing machines, TVs. Are those better binoculars? Are those night vision? Oh my god. I just got night vision. Oh, that is so cool looking. I like that they didn't go with the really, really strong green. That's such a cliche. Got some little, like, glitchy scan lines. Probably not something I'm going to want to generally use. Because it would be pretty distracting and annoying. You know, like, it, it's neat looking, but it removes a lot of the ambience. Like this versus this. This is so much better looking. But but I will use it when I'm trying to be stealthy and it's dark. Much better than putting my light on. Um, so. Oh, I see. So F, when you have your night vision off, F controls your flashlight. And when you have your night vision on, it controls your night vision. So it's one or the other. You can have your flashlight and night vision. Do you have to charge your night vision? Not that I can read that. We'll have to see what happens when it, my battery's dead. Maybe everything just gets darker. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Контрольную группу в четыре раза. 
На биологические виды рыб вещество, похоже, практически не влияет. Окунь и плотва показали незначительное повышение темпов роста, без негативных эффектов. Hmm. So it sounds like a scientist's uh, results on their studies of how all the radiation and other nasty stuff after the apocalypse has affected the local wildlife. Sounds like that's why that one particular type of, I don't know what it is, fish thing that spits acid at us, that particular one has shown incredible growth and not dying or getting sick from it. But other things have just, like cockroaches, have just had marginal growth increases. So that's why it specifically grew bigger, but other things didn't. That's why you don't have giant rats and giant bunnies. I wonder why this door doesn't open. It was locked from the other side, too. You must need a... Oh, you must need a key for it, yeah. Obviously, there's a keyhole, and... Well, that's a nice attention to detail. You can actually see through the keyhole. Um, This isn't the sort of door that would have an electronic lock. Probably Solantius or somebody, somebody. The leader probably has it. Okay, so back to experimenting with this. What was that? Huh. I'm thinking... Oh, pictures of each separate person. Like, one thought I have is putting a grenade, like, on the body or something so it swallows it and explodes inside the fish. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. How would I get the grenade there? How would I wait long enough for it to explode and not blow up prematurely? I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna try dropping one of these and then doing this so that hopefully all that stuff falls on the fish. I guess... Should I drop them all, I guess? Get it real interested in eating. Oh my god, I did it. That actually did it. Oh. No, it did do it. Okay. I feel clever. I'm glad I didn't just accept what happened and just move on. I went back and tried something different and it seriously paid off. Oh, it's still breathing. I don't like that. God, what a huge beast. Can I climb its back? Uh, I don't think you're supposed to. I kind of just fell through it. I wonder what that's going to do. I mean, I guess it would make things safer. It won't be prowling around outside. I wonder if Solantius will say anything about it. Or uh, the villagers probably will. All the villagers that I encounter all over the place. I don't know about Solantius, because I might have killed them. I don't remember. Whew. That was a really cool little sequence. Um, oh, hey, now that I've opened this, I should probably get this card, huh? Magic tool. Oh, I can actually drive it. W nest to drive, space to rotate the seat in the opposite direction. Oh, it even has lights. Well, holy crap. 
Okay, I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll definitely be back soon. This was a really cool little adventure.